Our topic for today is combining materials. There are many reasons why people process materials. In order to process materials, we can combine different types of materials into another material with different properties. This is called combining materials. There are many different reasons for processing materials. We do it mostly because the final product is more useful to us. They smell, feel, taste and look different when they are processed. The combined materials are useful for a specific purpose because of their new properties. Can you think of different situations where, we'd, where we would want to process materials? Food, like baking bread. Building, making concrete. Needs, making ceramics like clay pots. Art, making ornaments. The following are examples of ways in which we can combine materials. Mixing, mixing and setting, mixing and cooling, mixing and cooking, mixing, drying and firing. When we mixing, we take flour and water, the product will be glue and the property is it will be sticky. Mixing and setting. We use crushed stone, cement, sand and water. We get concrete. Concrete is hard and strong. Mixing and cooling. We use jelly powder and boiling water and we cool it. And we get jelly, which is edible and tasty. Mixing and cooking. We take flour, salt, sugar, yeast and water. We make bread. We heat it and we make bread. The property is, it is edible. Mixing, drying and firing. We take glass, we take clay and we heat it. We get clay pots and we get bricks, which are strong and waterproof. Making glue. Mixing. We take flour and water and we get glue. There's our flour, there's our water. We mix it and we get glue. Mixing and setting. Mixing and setting and we get concrete. We take water, we add it to a container. We add cement, crushed stones and sand. We mix it thoroughly and we set it to dry. There we have a concrete mixer. There's our mixture, which is set to dry. Mixing and cooling. We take jelly powder and boiling water. We cool it and we get jelly. There's our jelly powder. There's our boiling water. We mix it, we cool it and we get jelly. Mixing and cooking. We take flour, sugar, yeast, water, salt and oil. We cook it or we heat it and we get bread. There's our flour, there's our oil, there's our sugar, there's our water and there's our yeast. Here's our recipe. And we heat it in the oven and we get bread. Mixing, drying and firing. We take clay, we take grass, we mold it, we dry it, put it in an oven and we get bricks. When we mix materials, we get new different products which we use to make our lives more comfortable. For our next topic, we will talk about how we mix metals to make other products.